Hello, and welcome to my channel, Dear Sarah. I'm Sarah, and if you love books, and especially romance, then this is the channel for you. Today, I'd like to start with a classic booktube video, the booktube newbie tag. What better way to get to know me, whether I'm a right fit with reading styles or vibe, but I'm really glad you're here. So, the first question that I want to touch on is, why did I start this channel? Well, there are a couple reasons why I decided to start this channel. The first, like many of us, is that in my own personal life, there weren't a ton of people who like reading the same genre that I did. There's a ton who read literary fiction and nonfiction, which are wonderful genres, but I prefer romance books. So I wanted to find a community and create a little inclusive community on the internet where we can talk about romance books and have a little fun. Question number two, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to the booktube community? Well, one of the gaps I've kind of seen uh, through watching many different forms of booktube content is that there doesn't seem to be a, uh, a content that kind of goes over the weekly new romance books. There are so many new romance books that come out all the time, and some of them you'll just never hear about. So. I wanted to create a little video series that every single week I'll go in, explore, find out what's new in the genre, kind of touch from historical to contemporary, paranormal to fantasy, all within the romance space, and highlight what's new and maybe find some hidden treasures along the way. Question number three, what are you most excited for about your booktube channel? Well, I think some of the things I'm most excited for obviously is to meet new people who love romance books. That was the main reason, and I'm really looking forward to finding others who just love to read uh, romance books. I'm looking forward to kind of also creating some new skills. Um, I've never done video filming before, so I'd love to learn how to film, edit, maybe do some graphic design for my channel. So I really love new hobbies, and I think this will be a really fun challenge. Question number four. Why do you love reading? Well, like many of us, when I was younger, I lived in a small community in Canada, and it was a way to uh, get out of my community. It was a way to travel when I didn't have the means to travel. It was a way to meet new people who were outside of my little circle and to go on adventures. That escape, that sense of wonder was always what drew me to reading uh, and it has grown ever since I was little. Question number five. Which book series got you into reading? The first book series that I remember falling in love with was by Sarah Douglas called The Troy Games. It was a, a four book series that focused on, it was a fantasy series that took Greek mythology elements and other historical periods and it was uh, the same set of characters who were kind of reborn every few generations and um, had to kind of solve um, this outlandish riddle. Um, it was a, a wonderful, fun series. Um, and at the time, obviously, before the internet, for uh, a little girl, you know, I would have to have that sense of, you know, anticipation and excitement when you'd have to go to the bookstore a few times a year and hopefully the next installment of the book was there. And uh, I, it was a, a really fun read to read through my teen, teenage years. Question number six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Well, I'm currently finishing up my diploma in computer programming and my final project for the year is working on an app that focuses on creating uh, a database for reviewers rather than reader focused. So my question would be, out of how you currently track your reading, uh, as well as the different data behind it, you know, your TBRs and things like that, what features are missing? What would you like to see? What would make your life easier? If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. Question number seven, what challenges do you think will be the hardest to overcome when starting your new channel? I think the hardest challenges will obviously be learning how to edit effectively. I'm sure there'll be a few days uh, where technical problems will drive me crazy. Uh, everyone says consistency. Uh, as a student finishing up, obviously time is at a premium, 
but I think it'll be a, a fun challenge to try and work through. Question number eight, when did you start reading? I started reading when I was, uh, I started reading for pleasure when I was a teenager, so probably around the age of 13, like I said, I found the Troy games. I started to read Lord of the Rings as well. I got into different fantasy books. I then started, you know, reading classics like Shakespeare, Agatha Christie. Uh, when I got into university, then I uh, started reading a lot of YA, like Twilight, The Hunger Games, and then fell into Jane Austen. And my love affair with romance books never ended since then. Question number nine. Where do you read? I read in bed. I read in the couch. I read on the bus to work, I read on the train, I read in planes, I will read anywhere. Uh, I always like to have a book in my purse in case I'm out and I have five minutes to kill, why not keep on reading? And uh, another place I really like to read, I love to listen to audiobooks while I'm gaming and I'll, you know, throw on an audiobook and play around a civilization. Super relaxing uh, and a, a good time to read. Question number 10. What kind of books do you like to read? I like to read romance. I love to read many different subsections in the genre. I love historicals. I love paranormal. I love contemporaries. I think it, there's so many different books to go through. Um, it really is my favorite. And depending on my mood, I kind of go through different phases of one month it'll be paranormal month, and one month it'll be historicals. And then every so often you find a subsection in the romance that you've never heard of before. Um, so it's always giving you something new. Um, and I just always find there's a ton of depth to it. As long as there's a happily ever after, I'm usually happy. Well, if you've made it all the way to my end of my video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a like. If you uh, would like to watch further content when it comes out, please consider giving it a subscribe. Uh, until the next one, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys!